Hey everyone, this is Brett from Mint Digital, and today I'm going to show you how to install two of the probably the most common uh, CKN extensions, Data Store and Data Pusher. And I'll be installing those as extensions to a new uh, CKN 2.10 um, uh, install uh, that I have done just recently on an Ubuntu. 22.04 virtual machine, which is running on my Mac OS box. Um, now, I'll be following official documentation on uh, how to do that, which we see here, um, and here. So this is the data store install instructions. And this is the data pusher install instructions. So what I've done is I've pulled out these instructions into my own file just to make it a little easier for me to follow along. Um, so let's get started. Now the first thing we do is we create the user and okay so I've created uh, the data store underscore default user or role um, and I've used CCAN 2.10 as the password for that. So the next thing we do is we create the database, the data store database using this command. Um, now we will be able to see this new database. If I log into the Postgres database, using PSQL, and we see, yeah, this is the new database which is created. Okay. Okay, we look at the instructions again. Oops. Um, now we want to update the secan.ini file. Um, so we'll do that. We want to add to the plugin line, we want to add data store here. And we also, while we're here, we want to add, actually, we have it up here. Now, I've created a, just a little area here that I'm going to stick all the data store and data pressure um, parameters that we need uh, in, in the CCAN configuration file. So we have done the plugin and we'll put these two lines in now here. So this is the right URL on the read URL. Let's check those values look okay. There's the password we've been used. Yeah. Okay. So let's write that out. Okay, instructions. What's next? So we can now set up the permissions and we should be able to do that now. Mm -hmm. oh. right here.
Okay. So we've done the permissions. So if we go back to the instructions here, we're on this part here, set the permissions. Um, okay. The next thing we do is Oh, we could test. Actually, when, what we'll do is we'll bring up CCAN now. Um, hopefully. And then we'll run. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We'll run a, we'll run a curl. And it's a good way of testing to see whether or not the data store is being set up properly. Yeah, and we see that we have a success here. Mm -hmm. that um, again, this is in the uh, in the instructions to um, just to check we're doing a uh, that it's being set up, and we're running a data store search here, and for the table metadata. Okay, so I'm happy that data store is being set up. Now we'll go to the data pusher and what we'll do is we'll, uh, we want to get clone the latest data pusher um, and we could clone that into a directory called data pusher. Um, yeah. And there is the actual repo. Um, cloned locally. Um, now we want to run a, the pip install requirements.txt. Pip install the requirements dash dev dot text. Okay, now and the last thing we do here is we uh, install the actual data pusher software. And we see the version current version. Um, stable version is version 0 0.0.20. Okay, so we've done that. Now, one thing that I need to do and take care of now is um, we notice that uh, Data Pusher wants um, and I'll it actually see I've written this down here um, when you install data pusher it installs uh, this version of the SQL alchemy package and um, that has a problem um, so I, what I do to get around this is that I, I in, install version 1.4.0 um, in, uh, over top of that, well, it removes 1.3.24 and, 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 and I install 1.4.0, so I'll do that um, now. So there's a command I use here. Now, what I need to do now is I need to add some lines to the secant any file. What 
to that from my other screen here. Okay, so here's... Uh, now these are the these two parameters here we need so so you can data push a URL which is the IP address that um, it's going to be running which is the IP address of this virtual machine uh, on port 8800 which is the normal um, port number we use also with version 2.10 of CCAN we now require the API token to be set in the CCAN any file and config file and that's just set to my users um, token so I've created a user on, on, on the CCAN uh, called Brett and I've just pulled out my API token and put it in here just for just so I can get get it working um, quite quickly. Um, so I'll save oops, save that. Oh, I gotta put that W back in. Okay, so that should be fine. Go back to the instructions. Oh, and I need to put data pressure in the plugins here. Yeah, of course. Okay, so that's done. Okay. I'm happy that the CCAN config file is up to date now. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and I've done the... Uh, Alchemy package. Now I will run CCAN. See how this is the error that comes up with um, with CCAN with SQL Alchemy package um, because when I installed Data Pusher, it installed a, an older version of SQL uh, Alchemy. Um, it actually stopped CCAN working, and this is the error that comes out. Um, so if you ever see this sort of error, cannot import this um, object, the row object from um, Oh, um, I'm actually running um, Sorry, I told you I was running uh, Ubuntu 22.04. I'm not. I'm actually running uh, 20.04. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, I completely forgot that uh, I was running on a 20 rather than 22. Anyway, so this is the error that you would get from CCAN uh, with regard to the, uh, the SQL Alchemy um, package. Anyway, so we'll run CCAN again, and with a bit of luck, um, it will come up this time. Okay, so that looks good. Now, with the next thing we do is the data pressure. We'll go to the instructions. Um, this is the kind of development way of starting data pressure. Go back to the instructions. We see that um, there's a development installation, which is pretty much what we're doing. Um, we didn't need to install these packages. They kind of already existed on the virtual machine. We've gone through these. We're just about to run Data Pusher. And we see here that Data Pusher will be running on port 8800. But it's actually the IP address um, of the virtual machine. So that's where we change that in the so you can config file. Okay, so let's just run data pressure, see if what happens here. It should come up okay. That looks fine. We're just running it kind of interactively. We're not sort of running it as a production deployment. Uh, we're just doing it just to get it up and just seeing if we can get stuff working quickly. So I'm happy that that looks good. Um, the next thing we do, let's have a look here. 
So we're running CCAM, we're running Data Pusher. Let's just log in. Myself down here. So I've logged in. I haven't logged in yet. See, I've created a user, for it. Okay, and we want to add a data set, and then we want to push that uh, using Data Pusher to the data store. So I'm going to call that test, test set one. A really interesting name. Getting out of the way, add the data. Now I'm going to upload a really simple file called simple username password. Um, and I'm going to watch. We're going to watch the. Um, we're going to watch data pusher. When I do that, I think that's the most interesting thing to watch when. Hey look, there you go. This is the data pusher screen and it looks good. It looks like we've, we've fetched the resource and then we've pushed it through to the data store database using data pusher. Um, great. We go back to uh, our browser. We can actually look at the same kind of log information um, in the CCAN UI. Yeah. So I'm pretty happy that that's actually working now. And just as a final thing, what we can do is we can log back on to the database and what we'll do now is we can connect through to uh, the data store database and we can show anything in the database we see we have a table a brand new table which is that resource for that brand new data set um, so we can actually run a select statement and look at the data that's inside. So let's start from and here we see. We see the data that we've just Pushed that through with data push it into the data store database and here's here's the data here from that CSV file. Great. So that's how we we get uh, data pusher and data store running on a brand new CCAN 2.10 um, instance. Uh, thanks for watching.